Joga. If you're into unbelievable stories about cuddly companions turned ferocious foes, then this is definitely the video for you. From unexpected snake surprises to shocking ferret attacks, these tales will definitely make you rethink your definition of man's best friend. So join us on this fur-raising adventure into the realm of pets that bit back as we take a look at 20 animal pets that attack their owner. <sighs> Number 20, Python Attacked Owner. This woman developed a routine of sleeping with her massive seven-foot python every night, believing it was a special bonding experience. Well, okay, that's a little weird, but I guess everybody has their quirks. Even if it means sleeping next to a giant snake, but it turns out this wasn't such a great idea. That's right, this woman sleeps with her snake every night until a doctor shows her what's inside. Little did she know, danger lurked beneath the friendly surface of her enormous predatory snake. Concerned about her snake's sudden lack of appetite, she took it to the vet, only to discover a shocking truth. The vet revealed that the python had been fasting, preparing itself for a massive meal, its very owner. The snake's nightly movements and curling around the woman were not acts of affection, but strategic assessments of her size and weight. The python was sizing her up, preparing to devour her. These incidents underscore the importance of education and responsibility when it comes to owning any animal, but especially exotic pets like pythons. Sadly, another tragic story unfolded when a man named Dan Brandon posted a photo online of his eight-foot pet python named Tiny coiled around his shoulders. Unbeknownst to many, this behavior was not a sign of affection, but a warning sign. Shortly after sharing the photo, Brandon's life took a devastating turn. His parents discovered him lifeless in the same room where he kept his collection of 10 snakes and 12 tarantulas. Despite his apparent knowledge of exotic pets, the consequences proved fatal. So yeah, huge snakes can be kinda dangerous. Who knew? Anyway, how about hitting the like and subscribe button, unless you want to end up as a midnight snack for a sneaky snake? Number 19. Baby Mauled by Ferrets in a tragic incident in Pennsylvania, a one-month-old baby named Sky Isabel Frame was attacked by ferrets inside of her own home, resulting in severe facial injuries. The unfortunate incident occurred when Skye's mother, Jessica Benals, left her in a car seat on the floor and went upstairs briefly. During this time, two of the family's three ferrets managed to escape from their enclosure. Skye's father, Bernie Frame, was asleep upstairs when the horrifying event took place. Upon coming downstairs, they discovered the baby screaming in distress, and realized that the ferrets had inflicted significant damage, devouring approximately 25% of her face. With panic and urgency, Framey immediately called 911, and the baby was swiftly transported to the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, where she underwent life-saving surgery. Skye's injuries included severe damage to her lips, nose, and other facial areas. Her recovery will be a lengthy one, and a challenging process requiring additional surgeries in years to come. The Darby Borough Police Chief, Robert Smythe, expressed the gravity of this situation, stating that the household, consisting of a total of five young children, all under the age of five, is facing a crisis. As a result, the four other children have been placed under the care of other family members to ensure their safety and well-being. This distressing incident serves as a reminder of the importance of vigilance and caution when it comes to interactions between young children and pets, particularly animals with predatory instincts. Number 18, Humphrey the Hippo Donor. A farmer named Marius Ells, who was an army major, lost his life due to an attack by his pet hippopotamus. Despite receiving multiple warnings about the dangers of attempting to domesticate a wild animal, Ells had endeavored to tame a 1.2-ton hippo he affectionately named Humphrey on his farm in the Free State Providence of South Africa. Hippopotamuses are known for their formidable size and strength, making them one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. Their territorial nature and unpredictable behavior pose significant risks, especially when kept in captivity. Despite their seemingly docile demeanor in the water, they're capable of aggressive and lethal attacks. 
L's unfortunate encounter with Humphrey serves as a grim reminder of the inherent risks associated with attempting to domesticate wild animals. Even with extensive knowledge and experience, the unpredictable nature of these creatures can result in tragic outcomes. Hippos seem docile and they're herbivores, but they're actually incredibly dangerous to humans. Despite their round appearance, they're responsible for more human fatalities in Africa than any other large animal. With their immense size, aggressive nature, and powerful jaws capable of crushing bones, hippos should never be underestimated. While hippos spend a significant amount of time in water, they can move swiftly on land, reaching speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. They're highly territorial, and they will fiercely defend their territory, especially if they feel threatened or if they're protecting their young. Encountering a hippo in the wild can result in a life-threatening situation. They charge with incredible force, they trample anyone in their path, and they deliver crushing bites. It's important to remember that hippos are not just gentle giants that they appear to be. Approaching them, provoking them, or getting between a hippo and its escape route can have disastrous consequences. Their natural habitat provides the necessary space and resources for them to thrive, and attempting to keep them as pets often leads to detrimental consequences, both for the animal and for the human. Number 17. Eaten by his pet monitor lizards. In a truly bizarre incident, Ronald Huff, a 42-year-old man, met a horrifying fate at the jaws of his own pet monitor lizards. Huff had allowed seven six-foot-long Nile monitor lizards to roam freely in his flat, unaware of the imminent danger that awaited him. The Nile monitor lizard is a large and powerful reptile, known for its predatory nature. These creatures can grow up to six feet in length, and they possess sharp teeth and strong jaws. While they may be kept as pets by some enthusiasts, their size and natural instincts make them unsuitable for domestication. While most species of monitor lizards are not aggressive towards humans, they have powerful jaws and sharp claws that they can use to defend themselves if threatened. Although rare, there have been instances of monitor lizards biting humans, which can cause serious injuries due to the strong bite force and the sharp teeth. Additionally, their tails, which they can use for defense, can deliver powerful strikes. In this unfortunate case, the monitor lizards turned on their owner, attacking him with relentless ferocity. Tragically, Huff suffered severe injuries with his face, hands, and even his stomach organs being devoured by the very creatures he once nurtured. Pretty gruesome. While some reptiles can be fascinating and captivating, their wild instincts can never be completely eradicated. Responsible ownership of exotic animals requires extensive knowledge, experience, and adherence to safety guidelines. Striking a balance between appreciation for wildlife and ensuring the safety of humans is paramount. And it seems letting giant lizards run through your home is a big no-no. Number 16. Model attacked by a pit bull. In this devastating incident, Brooklyn Corny, a 22-year-old model from Mission Viejo, California, experienced a horrific attack that left her top lip ripped off by a pit bull. The incident occurred when she was visiting family in Arizona on November 3rd of 2020, completely altering the course of her life. Brooklyn was actively pursuing her modeling career and preparing for her very first TV commercial, and she had her face dramatically transformed in a matter of moments. The pit bull, who belonged to a relative, attacked her viciously, violently shaking her head and causing severe injuries. Her entire upper lip and parts of her nose were torn off in the relentless assault. Following the traumatic event, Brooklyn underwent groundbreaking surgery, costing approximately $400,000 in a remarkable attempt to restore her smile and regain some semblance of her former self. The extensive procedure aimed to reconstruct her upper lip and repair the damaged areas of her nose, offering a glimmer of hope for her recovery. Regardless of breed, dogs can exhibit aggressive behavior that poses serious harm to individuals. But Brooklyn's journey toward physical and emotional recovery highlights the resilience and determination of individuals in the face of unimaginable challenges. Her courage and the groundbreaking surgery she underwent serve as a testament to the progress in medical advancements and the hope for a better future. We wish Brooklyn all the best in her recovery and think that she's shown amazing strength to recover from this terrifying incident. Number 15. Cat Attack In an unexpected turn of events, a man named Andrew Woodard found himself on the receiving end of an amusing cat attack while opening a Christmas present. <laughs> This incident, captured on video, took place in Macon, Georgia, as Woodward sat beside a beautifully adorned Christmas tree, eagerly unwrapping his gift. 
With uncontainable excitement, Woodard exclaimed, I got a PlayStation! I got a PlayStation for Christmas! Little did he know that a mischievous feline lurked nearby, ready to pounce, perhaps knowing that the PlayStation was a threat to its role as supreme leader of the household. In a split second, the cat leaped onto Woodard, launching an unexpected assault on the unsuspecting gift recipient. The playful and spontaneous nature of the attack added an element of humor to the situation, turning the incident into a memorable holiday moment. While the cat's attack was likely a playful gesture rather than an act of aggression, it highlights the importance of understanding and respecting our pet's boundaries. Their actions, although often amusing, can sometimes catch us off guard. It's essential to approach interactions with pets, including those caught on camera, with care and consideration for their well-being. Number 14. Sheep Attacks Shepherd Next up, a dramatic sheep-related incident in Albania, where a female shepherd had a terrifying encounter with a ram sheep that went against its typically subservient nature. The incident unfolded when her herd became startled by the presence of a passing car, leading to a chaotic turn of events. As captured in this video, the shepherd was trampled and forcefully butted into the ground by the ram. The sudden aggression displayed by the animal serves as a stark reminder that even seemingly docile creatures can exhibit unpredictable behavior under certain circumstances. Sheep are often regarded as herd animals, preferring to blend in and maintain a sense of harmony within the group. However, as the saying goes, in every family, there is always a black sheep. This particular ram deviated from the expected behavior, demonstrating a level of aggression and dominance not exactly sheep-like. Was there maybe a wolf lurking under that woolly clothing? Number 13. Australian Smacks Pet Crocodile with Frying Pan in a daring and extraordinary act of bravery, Kai Hansen, the owner of a lodge in Australia's Northern Territory, fearlessly defended himself against a rampaging crocodile by striking it on the head with a frying pan. The astonishing incident was captured on camera at the Goat Island Lodge, showcasing Hansen's unwavering determination in the face of danger. When confronted with a charging 15-foot reptile, Hansen refused to back down, standing his ground and yielding a frying pan as his weapon of choice. The fearless lodge owner delivered a forceful blow to the croc's head, demonstrating both his quick thinking and courage. Have you ever been strolling through Hyrule and Breath of the Wild only with a cooking pot in your inventory when suddenly a monster appears out of nowhere? Maybe you have some kind of idea about what Kai experienced, only he had to do it in reality. Hansen's actions were driven by a desire to teach the aggressive crocodile a valuable lesson. <laughs> In the face of imminent danger, he stood up to the powerful predator, refusing to allow fear to dictate his actions. This astonishing footage serves as a testament to the human resilience and the lengths that individuals will go to protect themselves and others. Number 12. Man by Pet Rooster Jasper Krauss, a 67-year-old man, met a heartbreaking fate at the hands of his own pet rooster. The incident not only resulted in his untimely but also served as a terrifying reminder of the dangers posed by aggressive poultry. The unfortunate event unfolded when the rooster, known for its territorial and combative nature, a Kraus, plunging its sharp spur into his leg. The severity of the was such that Kraus suffered a heart attack after experiencing significant loss that ultimately claimed his life. While roosters may possess striking beauty and play an integral role in farm life, their territorial instincts and sharp spurs can pose serious humans. The daughter of the deceased man has shared her experience, warning others about the dangers of the birds. In a distressing turn of events, the same rooster also a her young child, further emphasizing the need for caution and responsible ownership. Number 11. Cow Attacked Man Twice in a harrowing tale of survival, a man named Nolan faced a near-fatal encounter with his own cow, Bolivia. Despite the cow's aggressive behavior, Nolan continues to care for her, believing that her change in temperament stems from giving birth to her calf. The first attack occurred when Bolivia cornered Nolan and forcefully headbutted him. However, the situation escalated when the cow's aggression intensified. Nolan found himself in a life-threatening situation, but he credits his renter, Sabrina, for coming to his aid. As Bolivia relentlessly headbutted him, Sabrina intervened and struck the cow on the head, diverting her attention and probably saving Nolan's life. 
Previously, Bolivia had been used in stock shows during her time as a heifer. However, in light of her unpredictable and aggressive behavior, Nolan now intends to utilize her solely for breeding. He plans to raise her offspring for future stock shows. That seems smart. Temperament isn't bred through genetics. Oh wait, it is. Number 10. Pitbull Attacks Owner In this distressing incident, a father found himself under attack by his own pitbull during a heated argument with his daughter. The details of the incident were captured on video, illustrating the alarming nature of the situation. It's essential to recognize that any dog, regardless of breed, has the potential to exhibit aggression under certain circumstances. Pit bulls, in particular, are often associated with having powerful jaw strength and protective instincts. However, it is super important to note that not all pit bulls are aggressive. Like at all, they're typically so sweet. Their behavior largely depends on factors like upbringing, training, and individual temperament. Dogs are highly sensitive to their surroundings, and they can be influenced by tense or volatile situations. It's crucial to maintain a calm and safe environment, especially during moments of conflict, to minimize the risk of aggressive behavior. When conflicts arise within a household, it's essential to prioritize the safety and well-being of all family members. That includes pets. Seeking professional help and guidance from dog behaviorists or trainers can provide valuable insights and strategies for managing difficult situations. Number 9. Russian Blue Attack Teresa Gregory, 50 years old, and her husband James, 46 years old, found themselves in a tough situation involving their four-year-old Russian blue cat named Kush. Teresa recounted to the Delan Police Department that Kush had attacked them, causing severe injuries and leaving them covered in blood. Trapped in the bathroom with her husband, Teresa expressed her realization that the cat's sudden aggression might have been triggered by her unintentional act of stepping on it. She admitted that Kush may have become overwhelmed or frightened by the incident, leading to its unexpected outburst. The frightened woman desperately sought help, expressing her confusion and concern over the cat's unusual behavior. She emphasized that the cat had never exhibited such aggression in the past, leaving her fearful for their safety. Being confined in the bathroom with no means of escape heightened the sense of urgency and fear in the situation. Teresa conveyed her distress to the dispatcher, illustrating the severity of the incident. Number 8. East Texas Man by Pet Deer In East Texas, a man named Gerald Rushton lost his life when he was viciously attacked by a male deer he had been raising. The attack occurred one morning in a pen located behind Rushton's house, approximately eight miles south of Wascom. According to the Harrison County Sheriff's deputies, Rushton entered the pen to feed the animal. However, due to the deer's rutting season, it became aggressive and launched a violent attack on Rushton. Despite efforts to defend himself, Rushton was overwhelmed by the powerful and aggressive deer, resulting in his tragic within the confines of the pen. The immediate family members who witnessed the attack quickly contacted the authorities, alerting them to the situation. In response, authorities made the difficult decision to euthanize the deer to ensure the safety of others and prevent further harm. The loss of Gerald Rushton is a heartbreaking tragedy, and our thoughts go out to his family during this difficult time. Number 7. Florida Toddler by Pet Python in this deeply distressing case, a trial took place for a mother and her boyfriend in central Florida who stood accused of negligence resulting in the of a two-year-old girl. Jaron Hare, age 21, and her boyfriend Charles Darno, age 34, faced charges of manslaughter, third-degree and child negligence. According to the Sumter County Sheriff's Office, Darnell discovered their 12-foot-long albino Burmese python named Gypsy wrapped around the head and body of Hare's daughter, Shiana Hare, in her crib. The medical examiner noted bite marks on the child's head and arms. Darnell estimated Shiana's weight at 22 pounds, significantly less than the python's 45 to 50 pounds. Darnell explained to deputies that he woke up in the middle of the night to find the python in the hallway and promptly returned it to its 200-gallon aquarium, where it usually resided. He believed that he had secured the snake by placing it in a laundry bag, which unfortunately had a small hole in it. The aquarium was covered with a quilt fastened with safety pins. However, Hare informed deputies that the snake escaped from the tank and laundry bag on multiple occasions in the two months leading up to the tragic event. She had been planning to construct a locking lid for the tank to prevent such incidents. Under Florida state law, owners are required to keep pet pythons securely contained. Both Darnell and Hare had failed to obtain the necessary state permit to keep the python. 
This heart-wrenching case sheds light on the crucial importance of responsible pet ownership and compliance with legal requirements. The tragic loss of a two-year-old girl serves as a painful reminder of the potential dangers associated with keeping large and powerful animals as pets. Number six, woman attacked by chimpanzee. Travis, a male common chimpanzee, gained fame as an animal actor, appearing in various TV shows and commercials. His impressive portfolio included appearances in Coca-Cola ads, as well as guest spots on popular shows like The Maury Povich Show and The Man Show. Although there are actually some disputes regarding whether Travis was actually the same chimpanzee featured in all of the appearances. However, his fame turned to notoriety on one fateful day. Tragically, on February 16th of 2009, a devastating incident unfolded in Stamford, Connecticut. Travis attacked and mauled a friend of his owner, causing severe injuries that included blindness, the severing of certain body parts, and lacerations to the face. The brutal assault came to an end when a police officer, responding to the distress call, shot and Travis. Chimpanzees are highly intelligent and very powerful creatures, and their behavior can become unpredictable and very dangerous, especially in captive settings. Number five, exotic pet owner mauled by tiger. This 66-year-old exotic animal owner lost his life when he was attacked by his own 650-pound tiger while entering the animal's cage to feed it. The Ontario Provincial Police were already aware of Norman Budwala's ownership of exotic animals on his property in Southwold, located southwest of London, when they received an emergency call one Sunday afternoon. Budwala had a history of keeping wild cats, including a lion and a cougar on his property. In 2004, a 10-year-old boy was mauled by a Siberian tiger at Budwala's property while taking pictures for a school project. The incident led to a passing of a bylaw by Southwold Township, banning exotic animals, like tigers. As the chairman of the Canadian Exotic Animal Owners Association, Buwaldo was legally allowed to own the animals and never faced charges in relation to the previous incident. Neighbors in the community had expressed concerns about the presence of these dangerous animals on the property and they advocated for their removal. Following the incident, it was determined that Budwalda's family would decide the fate of the tiger. Number four, snake bites woman and wraps her up. In this truly intense video captured on camera, a woman found herself in a terrifying situation as she was attacked by a large snake moments after releasing it from its tank. The incident unfolded when the snake clamped onto her hand and swiftly began wrapping itself tightly around her arm. This literally gripping encounter serves as a chilling reminder of the risks and dangers associated with keeping exotic reptiles as pets. The snake's powerful bite and its ability to constrict its body around the woman's arm demonstrated the immense strength and predatory nature of these creatures. While the specific circumstances leading up to the incident are unclear from the video alone, it underscores the importance of understanding the inherent risks involved in handling large snakes. These reptiles possess strong jaws and muscular bodies, allowing them to exert significant pressure and potentially cause serious harm. Number three. Mother-daughter trapped by cat. Next up, this mother and daughter found themselves trapped inside their own home, held hostage by an aggressive house cat. This unsettling ordeal unfolded in Chula Vista, San Diego, prompting police to have to go to the scene. A cat named Cuppy became a source of terror for its owners, trapping them inside and attacking them whenever they tried to move. The 911 dispatcher received a call from a female reporting that her cat was holding her and her adult daughter hostage in a bedroom. Police responded to the scene to handle the unusual situation. After a tense standoff, Cuppy eventually surrendered peacefully, allowing the owners to regain their freedom. The owners had kept Cuppy for 14 years, acknowledging that he had always been somewhat unpredictable, but the situation had never escalated to the point of needing emergency assistance. The cat's aggression and unpredictable behavior had become too much for them to handle, leading them to contemplate the difficult decision of euthanizing their pet. I'm sorry I'm laughing, because that last part is really sad, but the fact that this cat's name is Cuppy, I'm Number 2. Pitbull Attack Joe Veronese is grappling with the overwhelming grief and guilt after his recently adopted rescue dog, Smokey, suddenly attacked and his 84-year-old mother, Carolyn Veronese, in their Marget home. 
The tragic incident occurred while Joe was assisting his wheelchair-bound mother from the bathroom, and Smokey unexpectedly became aggressive. Recalling the horrifying event, Joe described how Smokey went into a frenzy, attacking relentlessly despite his attempts to defend himself and his mother. He tried flipping the dog over and hitting it with the leg of the wheelchair, but nothing deterred Smokey's aggression. In the struggle, Joe lost his footing in a pool of but managed to continue fighting back. Unfortunately, Karen lost her life in the Joe sustained multiple bite wounds during the ordeal, including his arm, face, chin, and eye. Paramedics and the police were called, and Joe was rushed to the hospital for treatment. Smokey, who had been legally adopted from an animal shelter, was subsequently quarantined by Broward County Animal Services and ultimately euthanized. Despite being out of the hospital, Joe hasn't returned to the home he shared with his mother as the traumatic experience continues to haunt him. He expressed the belief that Smokey should not be allowed to live after such a horrific Number 1. Ferret Attack in a small town called Grain Valley, Missouri, a heartbreaking incident unfolded that left a community in shock. A four-month-old baby boy, whose name remains undisclosed, found himself in critical condition after a pet ferret causing severe injury. The local police chief, Aaron Ambrose, confirmed that the parents of the baby were under investigation for neglect and failure to obtain a license for the exotic pet. The incident occurred in the early hours of the morning when the baby's mother was awakened by her child's cries. As she rushed to the nursery, she was met with a horrifying sight. The family pet ferret, known as Bandit, had lashed out at the baby, leaving him in a critical state. The father, alarmed by the commotion, swiftly intervened by throwing the ferret across the room in an attempt to protect their child. Tragically, the injuries had already been inflicted. The baby was immediately rushed to the hospital, where doctors fought to save his life. Regrettably, despite their best efforts, he lost seven of his fingers in the ferocious attack. The ferret, approximately six months old, was later euthanized under the supervision of Broward County Animal Services. Authorities later conducted a necropsy on the ferret to determine if it had rabies or any other contributing factors that may have triggered such aggressive behavior. Meanwhile, the devastated parents are facing unimaginable grief and guilt over the incident, questioning how a beloved pet could have caused such harm. Well, as we come to the end of our exploration of animals that turned on their owners, we're left with a mix of shock, intrigue, and important lessons. Which story surprised you the most? And what do you think is the key to responsible pet ownership? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.